Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday's trading session of 23rd of April 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app. Uh, the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so U.S. markets flushed quite powerfully on uh, on Friday on the back of concerns with regards to a 10-year yield, uh, inflation expectations certainly rising, hawkish potential um, uh, FOMC going forward, and therefore, given the fact that the yields are touching almost uh, or exceeding three percent, that certainly seems to cause a concern uh, in terms of global equity markets, or should I say, U.S. equity markets specifically. Also, we have the Chinese situation still obviously ongoing in the background. Uh, as well with regards to uh, obviously uh, Mr. Trump's uh, potential sanctions on ZTE. Uh, and again, that certainly is in the news this morning in terms of valuations going forward. So again, stocks tumble as US yields near the 3% barrier. So it's all about news with regards to the 3% barrier. And that certainly seems to trigger off a risk aversion. Uh, also, Mr. Trump did talk down on potential oil prices as well, saying that OPEX has some sort of potential. We all know it's a, a monopoly there or oligopoly, call it what you want. Basically, it's a, a price collusion, okay, uh, manipulating the price in order to uh, obviously adjust it to any way, whichever direction they want. Now, again, that certainly you'd send oil prices lower as well. Uh, you also have the Iran uh, situation as well in the background, again, geopolitics there, Syria Iran, and Russia as well in the background, again, concerns and geopolitical concerns there as well. So there's a lot of factors at play in terms of uh, the, uh, the actual market itself. Oh, let me just increase the volume for you. One second... Okay, so I should hopefully improve the sound. Okay, so uh, in terms of fundamentals this morning, then let's just quickly go through them. You've had the PMI data around France, uh, Germany, and Europe coming in on a stronger side. Although having said that, we have had Germany state that they are looking for a weaker growth going forward as well. Again, given the fact that Mr. Trump obviously has put uh, retaliatory measures in terms of well, the Germans have put retaliatory measures to Trump's protectionism uh, and quotas as well. So again, let's watch out there. In terms of the German DAX, let's look at a technical picture. And I mean, still, you're still in the low, higher highs and higher lows. But given the fact that U.S. markets certainly are flushed, Nasdaq certainly flushed quite powerfully on Friday as well. One would expect that gap to close below, or given the weakness to continue. Okay, so watch out there. Ten-minute chart certainly is bouncing from that pivot low. Pivot low uh, this morning was putting around 12.471. Ever since, certainly we have been bouncing. Whether or not that can that can sustain itself is a different question altogether. So watch out there as well. Okay, so again, it's lower lows, lower highs still. And that unfilled gap certainly remains uh, uh, potentially a target. Daily chart at the moment, you're still holding that resistance here. You haven't closed the gap at 12.684 or the gap at 12.790. So watch out there as well. There are multiple gaps on the daily chart as well. I mean, you've got a gap here, first of all, around the 12.390 zone. Okay, and then obviously the ultimate gap below at 11.970. So watch out there as well. Okay, so that's the status quo again, um, mixed data in terms of uh, Germany uh, specifically. In terms of the French CAC, let's have a look here. Again, French CAC still showing ama amazing resilience. Uh, the daily chart at the moment, you are into a key resistance zone, which is here historically. Uh, you've always had resistance here, and obviously slightly above, you've got gap fill as well. So again, uh, the European market certainly will be subjugated to that resistance zone. French equity is certainly helping or benefiting from the uh, the stronger commodities as of late. Okay, so again, certainly uh, given the fact that French France certainly is quite hot, the um, commodity heavy, commodity laden index certainly is benefiting from that perspective. Also, a weaker euro, obviously, given the strength in the in the, uh, uh, in the dollar, euro USD certainly languishing now at 1.22. That certainly is helping as well. Uh, we do have Mr. Draghi this week, so let's see what Mr. Draghi has to say going forward too. Okay, 60 minute chart, still higher highs and higher lows. No effect whatsoever in terms of U.S. equity markets weakness on Friday. So again, that's a cause for concern for me. Hence the reason my bias certainly will be buy it will be bearish here and looking for a potential flush down to at least five three ninety, potentially even lower. Again, again, I was expecting that gap to close below around the five three uh, fifty though. Very impressive strength in the European markets. Again, one could attribute that to uh, a so weaker euro certainly helping exports. And potential expectations of Mr. Draghi being dovish as well. So just bear that in mind. FTSE 100, again, another index. Amazingly, amazingly uh, bullish ever since Mr. Carney certainly hinted that there would be no potential rate hikes. Or I didn't say it would be no uh, rate hikes, but potential for no rate hikes in May. Again, that certainly has sent FTSE traders uh, into the uh, buying frenzy. As you can see here, daily chart now. Inverted head and shoulders formation is 7390. Now we're almost there. 
you got the 200 MA there around 7390 as well, so watch out for that potential key zone, okay, in terms of the uh, pivot on the market. My expectations certainly remain bearish here, given the fact that they need to catch up to um, bearish uh, price action in US markets, so I'll we'll certainly take that into consideration as well. Uh, the pivot high of the day so far has been 73.74, the pivot low certainly been at 73.60. I was expecting at least 7350 or potentially 7340 as well to be tested and then ultimately I expect gap fill to close at 7330 now. This certainly has baffled me the FTSE 100 since last two or three days now. I mean, last two or three days price actually ever since Wednesday has baffled me. Uh, so again, um, very, very impressive even with Trump's comments on oil also with regards to the yield curve pushing higher as well in America, which is causing the dollar to rise as well. One would have expected commodities to come under pressure and obviously uh, the FTSE 100 to come under pressure too. And that hasn't been the case. So again, like I said, very, very impressive thus far. Whether or not that can continue, that's a different question altogether. Again, it's just a wait and see approach for now. Just connecting the uh, potential, you've got a rising contracting wedge pattern here, potential for a reversal low. So again, to, to certainly take that into consideration too. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus and visit uh, TradeSignal for your latest uh, TradeSignal app. Goodbye now.